Jaya, Shiva Rajaya here from vitalcoaching.com. The topic for this video is uh, how to integrate the shadow field in your couple. Why you might start fighting in your couple after an initial romantic period. So if you have been dating anybody, any time in your life, you might have noticed that very often there is going to be this romantic space where it's all about the heart, about, you know, discovering sensuality and connections, sex life and so on. And there is lots of harmony there in uh, your relationship, in your new relationship or in your dating life. Very often there is a certain degree of, you know, casual dating in it. The things are not yet crystallized. They are not yet anchored. And then after this romantic period, this initial romantic period, then suddenly there is something that starts happening which might be a little bit conflictual. You know, suddenly you have rivalry and patterns and shadows and re reactions and emotions coming through. And the reason why this is happening is because imagine that your couple is like an organic vehicle, that instead of just being this set of frames where everything is already written, it's more like a tree that is growing. So in the beginning, you know, the, 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 the branches and the... the, the beautiful leaves and the flowers are expanding and creating all this beauty and then when the roots start going in what's happening between two people two two persons who want to partner is that you are going to start um entering into this zone where suddenly the, the core frames and the core beliefs start to engage and uh, in the process of engaging there together you might feel that there is some what we could call maybe power struggles, control patterns. It means that you have to learn how to navigate shadow aspects in yourself. It means that also, you know, after the original romantic period, this, this woman or this man that you have been dating suddenly appears to you with shadow aspects. You might do, discover that they are not as perfect as you thought they were because basically who you are dating is a human being. And so you have this whole beautiful romantic dream about this person and then suddenly they start you know, you start realizing that there might be areas of lack of integrity or um, lack of emotional awareness or life choice that you disagree with, some aspects that might become deal breakers. But basically what's happening is suddenly the shadows are being revealed and within those shadows you are setting up frames as well and values to see if you are synchronized to be partners on the long term. And so in that process, very often what is going to happen is like suddenly you have the emergence of fights, of uncomfortable emotions and all that. And the only reason why you're going there is really because there is a natural growth process that forces you as two partners to go and, uh, and check those, those shadows and those core values. What are the patterns in the core of your being? And in that area, suddenly in the process of merging energy, suddenly the deeper you go into merging this energy, suddenly there is a deeper degree of intimacy that is being built and unveils aspects of this other person that you didn't see before. And so that might be a very challenging time for couples. Very often people who have been dating in a casual way will break up at that point. They go like, wow, you know, are you fucking crazy? <laughs> you know, you are insane. I, I don't want to date you. I'm out of here. What you're requesting from me, you have controlling patterns, demands. Suddenly you're trying to control my life. You're criticizing my work. You know, there is all sorts of things that can be emerging there where you go like, this is way too uncomfortable and I'm out of here. But, you know, if you are smart, you will notice that something else is happening is that you learn how to uh, communicate in the areas which are challenging with that person and eventually you start building up foundations that strengthen actually the connection that you have with that person. Because being able to look at somebody and you go like, I can see that you're not perfect, I can see the areas of shadow and that's okay. These are not deal breakers. The fact that you're not perfect doesn't mean that I don't want to date you or spend the rest of my life with you or couple with you, okay? So the very often, People are going to get extremely confused by this. Uh, when you start dating, you go like, we were in this whole romantic, beautiful place and now we have all these challenges emerging. Guess what? This is part of the organic growth of your couple processes. And so instead of being like, okay, I'm out of here, you go like, well, let's take a moment to check that. And maybe they are in this area, there might be some deal breakers, some things that you do as a partner, as a potential lover, as a potential um, partner, romantic partner on the long term, that you are doing that I can not be around that. It doesn't work for me. Or you might be like, you know, it, 
it's challenging, but I can deal with it or I can live with it. Or you might be, you know what? It's okay, I embrace it and I'll still love you exactly like the, the first day. I just see that there are, there are certain aspects in your being that are uncomfortable and I'm going to learn how to love them as well as much as every other aspect of your being. So again, you know, don't freak out when you cross the romantic period, which is usually after maybe a month, two months, three months, six months, it depends on how fast you are going in that relationship or in that connection. But basically, very often, the, the turning point might be around three months. This is something that I noticed very often. This is the moment where you start setting up new foundations. And basically, you will notice that this is coming in. It means that you start getting hit by shadow waves. Your couple, the, the, the vehicle of your couple, and your relationship starts getting hit by, your sh by shadow waves. And then you go like, okay, how are we going to do that? So um, very often something that, that you, might be, you might feel entitled to do or you might feel the tendency to do is to start blaming your partner, or attacking them or challenging them, criticizing them, start entering into this conflict zone. And usually that's gonna lead you know, most probably to, to the end of the relationship. But if you manage to stay present, being like, you know, without attacking each other, without entering into the, the war zone together, then eventually you might be able to set up foundations and, and reestablish the values of, of respect, love, authenticity, truth, honesty, and all that. And you set up these foundations right in the core of your relationship, right in the core of these shadows and be like, you know what, we have these pillars of light and we know how to function and navigate with, uh, with all these challenges that come our way. If you build a house, you know, this is another example. If you build a house, you might put up, you know, the first uh, aspects of your, of your building there, have the plants and so on. And then when you start digging into the foundations, you might hit an area where there is hard rocks, where there is something to be cleared so that you can have really strong foundations in, in your field. And sometimes you disagree on the foundations, you disagree on the core values that you want to establish in your couple. So it's something to navigate. It's like, um, yeah, ex an exploration that eventually you will see will lead you to a victory if you want to keep on going or might be the, the end of your couple if you realize that you are not a match to uh, navigate strong challenges together. I hope that makes sense. If you want to hear more about these uh, coupling tactics and strategies, I've got programs and lots of resources on my website, vitalcoaching.com. And if you want, you can reach out to me. We can have Skype sessions wherever you are around the world. It's very easy to set it up. It's vitalcoaching.com slash coaching. Easy. Go check it out and uh, post in the comments. Let me know if, you, if those are experiences that you had in your life. You know, the collapse of the romantic dream <laughs> and um, how did you experience it and uh, how did you navigate it in your life i love you see you soon